Hello everyone and welcome to our Nightingale Survival Guide. We are covering the 0 0.3... 0.0 <laughs> update, which is basically the offline update. It's bringing a bunch of new features, so we're kind of going to shout out some of the, the major ones here. The first one uh, obviously being offline mode. Uh, a lot of players have wanted that. Um, I'm kind of one of them, but I was fine with being online too, but... Uh, we finally have offline mode, so what happens now is when you load into the game, you have your option of playing online or offline. We're going to jump into offline to see what it's like, um, and then we're going to go into the different uh, new features that the game offers. So let's just kind of click this and go right into it. So, uh, one of the things that I wanted to actually quick talk about was uh, your character creation. Uh, when you enter offline mode for the first time, uh, you have to actually create a new character for it. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. And uh, I do believe they said something about you're going to be able to migrate your character at some point. Um, but that's not available right now. So if you want to play in offline mode, you're going to have to make a new character. So kind of keep that in mind. You might want to maybe wait to see if there is a migration in the future. Or just, you know, explore the, the game with your new character. But once you kind of get to some of the, uh, the like, your step three, you act they actually now have, like, a new loadout where you actually get to choose, like, your starting equipment. So that's kind of, like, what we're doing right here. Um, and, you, and it does have, like, a little bit, obviously, of, of a story here, too, kind of, like, with what these different things kind of uh, do. But we're just going to kind of go, um, probably not Arcane. Oh, is it? <laughs> I kind of dig that, not going to lie. <laughs> Oh, he's very fancy in that one. Um, so it looks like these might be maybe a little bit more health. Fancy, very fancy. I <laughs> just cannot. Underclothes, love that. Um, it's a great time. That's it. All right, we'll just go with, I guess, uh, we'll just go. We'll just, we'll just keep it pretty chill, I guess. And then you're, here's the loadout that you can then uh, choose. And now they tell you, like, hey, if you choose this loadout, this is what you're going to get. Uh, so, let's see, I think crafter might not be a bad idea, adventurer also not a bad idea, a magician, drifter, oh this one that comes with zero, so that's guess if you want to give yourself like kind of like the, 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 the most basic kind of entry in i think we should probably go with either crafter or uh, uh, fighter just because i want to start with a tool ideally although i don't wouldn't mind starting with healing potions too uh you know what why don't we i don't mm -hmm. let's go with that i tend to be more melee than magic so we'll go with this uh, but basically, you do that, and then uh, obviously you can choose your story here. We'll just go. We're just going to say we were a hermit because that's just the way we do. Uh, and then obviously you can proceed into the game. That's kind of like one of the main things that I wanted to quick shout out was uh, you do have to make a new character for offline mode. They do have now some starting loading kind of equipment. And I believe you can also now change your character within the game too. So if you're not happy with your character's appearance, you can change that uh, later in the game. So let's go ahead and finalize this. And then we also have the option of, um, let's go with our usual here, uh, with the option of uh, choosing to skip the tutorial. That is another feature that they have brought with this uh, point three update. So let's see here. You'll use blah, 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 save your PC, live content, and social features disabled, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Before time itself, the realms. All right, we're going to skip that just because we have already seen that. Uh, but yeah, you have the option of choosing to skip the tutorial, and uh, I want to say also, I looks because I know, and I'll go into this in a little bit more detail in a little bit. But there is a community event going on right now, and I don't know if you need to be online for that. I will check just to see if the person you, that you need to talk to is going to be there. Um, but if not, you they might need to make a character who is online uh, for that particular thing. And obviously, if they are bringing character migration. It'll be a little bit easier in the future to be like, okay, there's an event going on. I'm going to take my offline character to online mode and vice versa and all that. But, you know, we'll have to see how that goes. But we're going to just kind of let this thing do its thing and we'll see what there is to see. All right, so we just came through the portal. This is kind of the beginning. We might have to do, like, this part of the game at least or the tutorial. We'll have to see. I'm kind of curious when the skip option comes unless it's, like, uh, in here somewhere. Let's see we have 
proper pause on offline mode too. That's really nice. Um, blah, blah, blah. Social features are unavailable. Yep, 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 yep. That makes sense. And that makes sense. So let's just go with that. We do have our starting equipment. So we'll just kind of run through because I've, I've been to this before. And How now, fleshling? You guys have been playing this and you've seen this already as well. Lost in our Feywilds. Show haste, human. Quickly, before those bound fiends snip out your despair. Just check and make sure I'm not missing anything here. Here's our buddy. Shadows Here's abound. Yet, like a... I come with an offer to take these bloodstained... Give me your hands. <laughs> Almost sitting. Hurry on the... Toward port travel to the forest back. Fly, Realm Walker. The fiends have caught your despairing. Go through here, and then I'm I'm gonna I'm very curious to see if it, if we get the option to skip our tutorial, our tutorial, or if we have to like because this is offline mode, it's like separate from online mode. I'm wondering if we have to at least complete tutorial once in like the new mode. We're gonna find out. We're gonna let this kind of like I said, we're gonna let this roll and just see uh, what we have here. All right, so I have discovered how to skip the tutorial. So back in character creation, uh, before, instead of clicking finalize, make sure you guys go to difficulty. And uh, right here on start point, that is where you can choose where you want to have your start point, whether it's, if you want to do tutorial, you do it here. Otherwise, uh, you can choose where you want to basically have your abeyance. And I think that I'm going to have my guy here in the desert because I have my other one in the forest. So I'm going to try this just to kind of, do something different so we're gonna go right here to finalize we'll go again and name our guy i basically deleted the other one because i was like hmm so all right so we're gonna go in this time and in before theory, time itself the realm in theory we're gonna be starting right in the desert so we're able to skip the tutorial to our actual abeyance realm all right we have loaded it in and it's uh it loaded us directly to the the desert realm so let's talk to about. Pack so he can tell us the usual stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Hands. We have heard this, so. This realm, but and it man, looks like uh, I While I know, man. he gives you the stuff that he gives you in the tutorial, more or less. So that's great. Bye, buddy. So now that we are here, I'm just going to quick run and find the essence trader to see if uh, the community event is available here. And then we're going to go into the features at long last. <laughs> All right, so we have, uh, I have confirmed, uh, at least it seems like it anyway, that uh, the community event, which is called a Spark of Hope, is available on offline mode. This is the trader that you need to speak to. He's going to give you rewards for the special types of essences, which are called, I believe, Hope Essences, uh, and get you, you know, special rewards for that. So this is, uh, for example, an example. Uh, if you need, you want to get like 250 hope essence, you can unlock the hunter's hat, for example. So she basically gives you the rewards for all the essence that you can collect. You get these essences by uh, uh, defeating slash like uh, grasping onto, I guess, interacting with, I guess is, is the better uh, term here, uh, with wisps that you just kind of find out uh, in your abeyance realm. So kind of just chase them down, uh, interact with them, and they will give you a hope essence, which you can collect and then turn into uh, our friend Agnes here. Uh, and uh, you can always find her by uh, Sess, 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 that's the Wilhelmina, basically, um, in your abeyance realm. So uh, so that is where, uh, that's the community event. Again, Spark of Hope, it starts now and runs to July. So you have uh, a bit of time to uh, grind that little bit if you want some of the, the items that they are selling. So aside from that, um, the other kind of like main features that uh, you can find in this update uh, is you can actually build from storage now, which is another like really big uh, thing that I know a lot of people wanted. I know I certainly wanted. I love being able to uh, build from storage. Like it just makes life so much easier. My friend, help me. I'm a baby. I can't <laughs> like a baby level here. You got to help me out, Abby. Abby, Abby, help me, help me, Abby. Abby, help me. 
That's right, Abby, you kick butt. Uh, so, um, oh my goodness, wow, you really jumped. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, so, uh, so that is uh, what you can do now. They have proximity building, basically. Uh, so it pulls resources from uh, the chests around you, which you can then use to, you know, build this or that. So that is great. Love that. Uh, they have also introduced new NPCs uh, in the game. Um, Edgar Allan Poe, Joan of Arc, and Taliesin the Bard are all new NPCs. They have new quests for you to uh, complete for them. So uh, keep your eye out for them out in the various realms out there. There is a new bound enemy called the Marksman who basically has like a rifle and shoots long distance at you. Uh, so be aware of that. And to add to that as well, they've also add, added like tiered enemies for, for the bound and for the various enemies throughout uh the uh -oh, throughout the uh, realms here <laughs> and i um and obviously the higher tier they are the uh the, the harder they are to take down but they also drop uh better um rewards uh as a result so if you're kind of like at that point where these little guys just aren't worth your time uh keep your eye out for the tier three and tier two enemies out there and uh, that's really it. That's kind of like the major uh, updates, features, which is quite a, quite a bit, honestly, especially with offline mode. That's not easy from a development standpoint when you initially make your game for online play. So the fact they were able to get that out as quickly as they did is pretty amazing. Uh, on top of all these other new, you know, really nice quality of life features. We're loving that. And as well as like, you know, a community event on top of it. So it's, it's pretty great. Uh, a lot of work obviously went into this update and, you know, it's, it's pretty awesome. So that is kind of the 0 0.3 offline mode update. Uh, let me know what you guys are excited about the most and what you're looking forward to in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.